No. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful place. Okay. All right. Good job. Good stay. You waited for me. Good girl. Good This is Blondie. She's my four and a half year old Aspen. Ano yung ibig sabihin po ng Aspen? It's just a shortcut of Asong Pinoy, a very polite way to say Ascal. Her mom is half Labrador Retriever and her dad, we don't really know. So why are we talking about my dog? Well, you're in for a treat because today I'm going to teach you the basic obedience tricks that she knows or she learned when she was a puppy and I'm gonna tell you as well if you're contemplating on having a dog or maybe even have a dog having problems with your dog I'll try to give you some solutions and some tips from my experience on how to choose a dog how to care for one and of course how to train them to be an obedient dog the way that we got Blondie four and a half years ago, I already knew na gusto ko ng lab. Coming into the, um, the process of finding the right pet for me, we already knew that we wanted a lab. Kasi yung aso ko nung bata ako, I think from 5 to 13 years old, was also a Labrador. Male shot, black Labrador retriever. And most of the labs that I've met, they're very mild-tempered very good with children, very good with people, very calm, very loyal, and very loving. And I thought, aside from that, I wanted a dog that would bring more activity into my life. Kasi naging sedentary ako and I wasn't doing uh, as much outdoor activities as I wanted to. So I thought, okay, so aside from what kind of a temperament you want your dog to be you also have to choose what kind of lifestyle that's gonna match your personality with your lifestyle and the dog that you want also your living space now for me because I live in a condo uh, we didn't ha we don't have a lot of running space for the dog and also living in the city it's really hard to find good parks okay ko what if we get a mini lab just like my Labrador in New York? So we went first to a couple of breeders and the three, four month old puppies that we saw were like this huge already. So that would be like one third her size. And when that one third of a puppy grows full size, it would have been almost double what she is. So cannot be for us in a condo. Guys, please always consider your space before you get a dog because if you don't have enough space really both of you will not be happy and then as i mentioned earlier do you want to crossbreed or do you want a purebred well para sa akin since hindi naman ako magbibreed ng aking aso hindi naman kailangan ng purebred i just want a dog na talagang fits all the other criteria ngayon kung purebred siya and fits all my criteria then perfect but hindi naman necessary dahil hindi ko naman ibibreed ang aking aso. Well, after going to a couple of breeders and seeing that napakalaki ng mga puppies ng purebred labs, uh, and I decided to go to one of the pet stores. Mag-ingat dahil each of these things nangyari sa akin. Pag ikot namin, comes out and says, this is the one. And I'm like, I saw a scraggly little dog with a distended tummy, really bad hair, and mamuta muta pa. So I go, no, that's not the right dog. And so he goes, no, this is the right dog for us. It's perfect size, she's beautiful face. And I go, no, I don't think so. So I said, okay, just take a picture and bring it home. Think about it tonight. And I go, 
all right, whatever, just para ma please siya. So I take the picture, I go home that night, and lo and behold, naiisip isip ko yung dog. And I said, you know what? That night, I said, you're right. I think she is the one. Pagandahin na lang natin siya. So, we went back the following day to the store, and they told me that the dog was sold. So, you could imagine what, you know, what I was feeling. Because, wala na pala yung dog na nagustuhan ko. And I said, how could that be? We were just here yesterday, and sabi niya, ang sabi ng tindero, eh, siya po yung bumili. <laughs> yung kasama niyo. So I was like, oh, okay, great. So Blondie was really meant to be. It was, she was our dog. We were so lucky because Blondie was actually a smart dog. Uh, you can't really tell if a dog is smart or not by just looking at them. You have to actually, you know, interact with the dog. But in her first month with us, Blondie actually knew six words. One of them being her name and five being commands. Some of them included up, come, sit, fetch, and look at me. And the first training, of course, is potty training. Now, um, potty training was very difficult and I made a lot of mistakes. Here's one mistake that I hope you guys don't repeat uh, para hindi kayo ma-frustrate katulad ko. Pinatulog ko si Blondie, hindi sa kwarto ko, pero sa master bathroom ko. Problem is, because gusto ko din siya mag sa banyo on newspaper, dun din siya natutulog, hindi siya nagwiwiwi dun. Because I learned, dogs do not pee or poops where they sleep. So, when I took her out, immediately pumupunta na siya sa living room para magdumi. And I couldn't get her to stop doing this. You also have to teach your dog very early um, the activities that you want them to do. For example, when she was five months, I took her na to the pool to go swimming. Now, her puppies, on the other hand, because we had a pool in Boracay, or we have a pool in Boracay, um, got to swim right away. Ibig sabihin wala pa silang three months, lumalangoy na sila. Then, after she was more confident in the water, in the pool, we took her to open water with me diving. So, um, pag nagda-dive ako, she would stay on the bangka, and when I would resurface, she would come up to meet me. So she would actually um, jump off the bangka into the water to meet me. She was also trained to do dock diving. Dock diving is when uh, a dog trains to compete to actually fetch a some water toy by jumping off of a dock or of a surface into the water. Now, I trained si Blondie, but she never competed. Though, napakagaling niya din mag duck dive. And then, the next thing she trained for was agility. And the next thing after that was um, service dog tasks and commands. One of the things you need when you're first training your dog is treats or anything na makakain niya hidden in your pouch or e your pocket or easily accessible. So right now, I have a lot of her dog food in the pouch. So every time she does something right, you give her a treat right away para alam niya tama yung ginawa niya. The most important obedience skill that your dog must learn is yes and no. And I didn't know this in the beginning, kaya fast forward sa four years and a half later, tuturo ko sa inyo, and you will have better ease of training your dog. Now, first of all, they don't understand when you say something, unless malino sa kanila what yes and no means. Now, what is yes? Your yeses may be, okay, yes, um, go, yun yung mga affirmative action words. And then yung mga negative or negative uh, words would be no, wait, stop. But of course, as a puppy, they need to know only two words first, which is yes and no. So this is Blondie's, one of Blondie's favorite toys, a fetch toy. 
So she's so excited and look, she's ready to grab this toy. But I told her earlier, no, I'm going to set it down and I'm going to see if she's going to take it if I tell her no. Blondie, no. No. Now ordinarily she would just grab that ball if I put it down. But because I said no, no means no. Now, if I say yes, what are you going to do? She's going to take the ball and she's going to give it to me because she knows that this is a fetch toy. So Blondie, I want you to get this ball. Ready and go. Good girl. Bring it back. And here you go. Here's your treat. Good girl. Now I'm going to tell her, no, don't get the ball. Let's see if she follows. Blondie, no, 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 no. Yes. Good girl. Now see how the tone of my uh, voice is very important. Again, if you're saying, no, no, she's still going to get the ball because the tone of voices mo is a yes. So let's try that again with the wrong uh, intonation. Blondie, no, no, no. See, see, she doesn't understand because the quality of voice mo is not firm enough. But if you say it more firm, Blondie, no, no, no. Okay, yes. That's just a sample of how your yeses must be yes and your noes must be a firm no. So we haven't done this in a long time and we're at the park, so maraming distractions. Heel and walk is what we're going to do right now. All right, Blondie, you show her your treats so you know that something's coming. Good girl. You hook her up. Now, for young dogs, you would use a choker chain, and that's what this is. Now, a choker chain is what helps you control your dog, especially if it's a medium or large sized dog that will always pull you. Now, you want them to be on your less dominant side. My do less dominant side is my left, and you want them to be as close to you as possible without pulling. So, ito po ang demo. Blondie, walk. Come on. Now, every time she veers away, you have to pull, tug her to you. So if your dog is tugging, you will t tell them heel. And then if you want them to stop, you'll say heel, sit. Okay, and then of course you give them the treat. Good girl. And also give them praises. Good girl. Stand. Good girl. Walk. Okay, sit. Good girl. Wow, you still remember. Good girl. So now we're going to try without the leash. Blondie, Blondie, look at me. Okay, stand. Good girl, stop. Okay, walk, walk. Walk, good girl. Walk long, walk. Good girl, good girl, yeah, good girl. Not bad. Once you've been walking them a long time, this way, military style, they'll eventually walk with you. Usually, the trainer and your pet have hand gestures that you can also use. They can also know what you're saying when you're doing hand gestures. Um, in the beginning, you have to do hand gestures with the actual command. So, for example, I'll just give you a few examples. Blondie. Good girl. Look at me. Good girl. Blondie, stand. Blondie, stand. Good girl. 
Now, stand can also be stand. When she doesn't stand, like hindi na niya iintindihan yung stand, iakyat, iangat mo yung likuran niya. Stand. So she knows that, oh, she wants me to stand pala. So you always have to kind of guide your dog. So sit. Okay. Stand. Stand. No. Stand. Good girl. Look at me. Okay. So those were some hand gestures lang. Um, another one, I guess, that I can show is high five. So, okay. Blondie, stand. Stand. Good girl. Kasi favorite niya yun eh, yung high five. So I don't have to say. You just lift up your hand. So there's going to be certain hand gestures na kayo lang dalawa, a dog and a master, are going to know. Kasi lagi mo siyang ginagawa. So, always try to include yung mga hand gestures in your voice commands in the beginning. And then later on, you can remove the voice command and just do hand gestures na lang. Good girl. To get your dogs to stay, first, ipakita nyo sa kanila ang treat. Give a clear and firm command of stay with your palm facing them. Every time na gumalaw sila, repeat the command loudly with authority. Subukan nyo muna ng ilang segundo. Then, immediately give their treat. Repeat and gradually habaan nyo yung time bago nyo ibigay yung treat. Katulad nito. Okay, during COVID, of course, we want to keep our pets clean. Every time we go out, you will need to clean their paws with alcohol wipes or alcohol. And then, of course, their body with um, any kind of wipe before coming into the house, uh, especially their fur. Just because you want them also to be germ-free. Why do we want to do this and why do we take care of our animals is because we want them to live a long, long life. Right, Blondie? Because they are really great sources of comfort, compassion, and joy. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. So, bye for now. Bye-bye. She just woke up. <laughs> Remember, you can do whatever your mind sets on doing. Where you direct your thoughts, the energy will flow. Laugh, learn, empower, and inspire. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, thanks for watching my YouTube video. If you liked it, please subscribe or click the button below.